Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel PowerPoint University. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create uh, three steps or three options infographic slide in PowerPoint. And when I click, it will show you the first title with the detailed text. And then I have added icon with some text here. And then when I click, then second title or second option will appear. And then the third option will appear here. So let's see how to create this slide in PowerPoint. Add a new slide and change the background of the slide. Go to format background and select a light gray color. Go to insert shapes, select a rounded corner rectangle. Draw this much size and reduce the curves. and make sure that this is aligned in the center I'll make it somewhat up and shape fill I'm going to give a white color shape outline make it no outline I'm going to select this press ctrl D to duplicate this and I'm going to make it a black color and place exactly at the top of the white rectangle then go to insert shapes select our rectangle draw the rectangle and I'm going to keep only this much black color the other I'm going to delete that so I'm going to set the black rectangle and then this blue rectangle go to merge shape and just say subtract so you have end up with this select this a white rectangle right mouse click go to format shape under shadows give the shadow effect which is uh, offset center and you can blur it go to insert shape add one more rounded corner rectangle but this time I'm going to make it a smaller one make it fully curved reduce the size and say give the same background color which is light make it no outline and put it here and go to shadow select the first one which is inside top and you can reduce the blur If you want you can reduce it further then go to insert shapes select a rectangle draw the rectangle maybe this much size put it in the center now give some different colors make it no outline I'll zoom it a little bit go to insert again shapes select this right triangle draw the triangle to give kind of a 3d effect and give some dark color to this shape outline make it no outline and align it properly Then I'm going to insert one more rectangle. And shape fill give white color and shape outline. I'm going to give this color and make it more give more border color. And this also you can give some shadow effect to give the shadow effect I'm just going to select this shape outline I'll make it no outline and shape fill I'll make it black with more transparent effect and I'll go to effects under soft adjust I will increase the the size 
little bit increase the size and you can give more transparent effect and send this to back so you got the the shadow effect there and I'm going to type a uh, text first is options which is 0 1 or you can type ABCD also and I'm going to use the same color uh, sorry the white and place it here I'll use this font increase the size center aligned put it here now select all these options press ctrl G to group it ctrl D to duplicate add the other side if you want to add four also you can add four if uh, space permits you to do that and make sure that this is aligned properly and there's a equal spaces between this now I'm going to make it this two and three you can ungroup this later on we'll group it back and then we can change the color of this I'm going to give some different color maybe orange and the background also orange I'll put this back here and the right triangle also you can give orange then you can make it more darker so let me just give some different color here maybe I'll give a blue outline also I'm going to give the same blue and this I'll give some dark blue color here so our basic design is almost ready I'm just going to add the text here the title text I'll just say title infographics and center align increase the size I'm going to use the font then add the detail text for this so I'm just going to select this press ctrl D reduce the size I'll just say title here and you can add a detailed text here at this place And select both of this and group it control G and control D to duplicate I'll add here now I'm going to add some icons go to insert select icons you need a uh, active internet connection for this select any good objects or sorry icons and I'm just going to place the icons here and give the same color I'll just go to this color then I'll select orange for this 
and blue for this. Now I'm just going to select, first of all, I'll ungroup this. I'll deselect the rectangle and I'll group this. Control G, you can see here I have grouped only this one. So same thing, I will select all except this rectangle and the icon, Control G to group it. And here also, without icon and group it. So I have grouped this only. Now let's do the animation. Go to animations tab. First, I'm going to give the animation for this. So I'm going to give a wipe effect. Wipe effect from top. I'll enable the animation pane. And then this should come. This is also a wipe effect from top. And this should happen after previous. And for this, I'm going to give a basic zoom or you can just say out slightly like this and this should happen after previous now i'm going to use animation painter to copy the animation to other options so i'll set this animation painter click here then this animation click here select the icons then select this and the last one so let's see how the animation looks in the slideshow so when I click the first text will appear then the second one and the third one so that's it from me friends thank you for watching my youtube channel powerpoint university That's it from me friends. Thank you for watching my YouTube channel and don't forget to subscribe PowerPoint University. See you soon with more interesting stuff. Till then, goodbye.